Hey, what's up? Here comes another quick tutorial. This time it's about putting your Twitter feed into your WordPress website. This tutorial is strictly about the way you can achieve this using Jetpack. So here we go. We've got uh, an install of WordPress going on. We're going to go to Jetpack and we're going to choose the settings view, makes it a little easier to uh, check things out. And we're going to go to the social filter and we've got this feature in Jetpack called extra sidebar widget. Just activate that. And then navigate to your widgets. And you will see that you now have a whole bunch of stuff available to you with a little um, suffix of jetpack there. And the one we're looking for is Twitter timeline. So let's just add that to our sidebar. And you will instantly see that there's some stuff we need to do now. We're going to assume that you have a Twitter account and you are logged in and you need to go and grab uh, a code that is created once you create a Twitter widget. So navigate to your settings and your widgets and go create a new one. Click the button and you'll get the options. And we'll get a preview just like this. Um, there's a few options here. If you've got a light theme or a dark theme, there's not too much to choose from here. Remember, this is not the ultimate Twitter display on your site. This is about getting your tweets in there fast using Jetpack. So we're just going to leave it like that for the time being. We're going to create widget. And you will see there's a little code up here. Look. Now, this is the thing that Jetpack wants you to use. So we're going to copy that and paste that in just add well say we want four tweets to show everything else looks cool for the time being so let's save that up and let's head on back to our site where on our blog we now have a twitter stream easy as that okay hope you enjoyed that don't forget to like if you do indeed like please share please put some comments in we answer all the comments and hit that subscribe button we shall see you next time